Hey there, y'all. Bunkle here again. Or if this is your first time on the channel or seeing one of my videos, Bunkle here for the first time. In this video, I'm going to be going through a couple 1987 Tops Jumbo Packs. I guess you could say we're in the heart of what would be the junk wax era, junk vintage wax or vintage junk wax or whatever we might want to call it. Uh, 87 is a year that I absolutely remember kind of like yesterday. Uh, it was the year that I was definitely buying the most packs of cards, usually rack packs, not jumbo packs. And wax packs were great, but rack packs definitely gave a, a lot more bang for the buck in my mind. I was buying them by the box. Uh, definitely card collecting was becoming a very big thing at that time. Uh, I was definitely going to a couple different card dealers back and forth. I was, uh, I guess, the height of my late teens, early 20s, buying out card collections and dishing them out to different either card shops or hobby shops, as they were called at that time, uh, baseball card shows or sports card shows at that time, mostly baseball cards. Um, again, 86, 87, 88, 89 um, baseball card shows. And I was living in New York City, so... Definitely, there were card shows constantly uh, from one place to another. So, uh, and I look back at some of the cards that I know that I sold for a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, and condition at that point, uh, things weren't, uh, if I'm not mistaken, slabbing was just really getting started. And I wasn't really thrilled about slabbing at the time. I, I thought it was kind of a sacrilege uh, to get into slabbing cards. But now looking back, I could absolutely see, I guess, the value or the, the reason to do it, uh, you know, just preservation sake. But I think of some of the uh, potential like uh, cards that I know that I picked up and sold uh, it, things from the early to mid seventies that were in really nice condition. Uh, I was buying all sorts of collections. There was uh, one collection that I do remember buying. It must have been like twenty, twenty five thousand cards. Uh, just completely stocked with uh, 76, 77, 78, and 79 cards. Uh, well, 80 was in there also because I remember there were probably a dozen Ricky Henderson rookies. And I look back and you know what? I wish I still had that collection. Anyway, it is what it is. I hope you've been having a great day. I hope every day is a blessed one for you. And if today was not a blessed day so far, well, I absolutely hope you have a blessed day going forward from here. That's for sure. I definitely appreciate you stopping by. I do appreciate all comments and subscribers and all that other great stuff on the video. If uh, I missed something or there's somebody that a uh, player that you particularly like that you put up on your wall of fame that I didn't put up on mine, make a mention. People are doing that and uh, we could have a debate back and forth or debate or conversation as it might be uh that could be something that i missed or something that i can I, I didn't consider now i don't really put hall of famers up on my wall of fame uh sometimes it's also just my fa favorite players from those packs or from those times now, andre dawson was definitely a great player nice way to start that pack off i didn't even realize there was an andre dawson up on top of these now again these are 100 card packs tops jumbo packs I'm going to try to get through these pretty quickly, but there is also a special rookie card inside each pack, so definitely going to enjoy seeing that one. Rick Dempsey, Dale Murphy. Now, you see, he's somebody that's not Hall of Fame, but in my mind should be. He had a great career, phenomenal numbers, maybe not long enough or maybe not enough win rings or wins or whatever the case might be, and there's arguments that can be made against it, but for for a period of time, he was the best. And when I say period of time, I'm not talking a day or a week. No, I'm talking like a good four or five year period. Um, there really wasn't many that would compete. Sure, he might have been one of like three or four players, but all of those other three, four or five players, they're all in the Hall of Fame. So maybe he just didn't do it for long enough. I don't know. But yeah, it's a great player, great card. Got Kurt Wilkerson, Ken Dixon. Mark Gubixa. Oh, and also just to, I guess, if, you, if you're looking at card values, uh, some people do, of course, getting back on that topic of slabbing and uh, who you might find in these. Of course, you have the Barry Bonds rookie. Uh, you have the Mark McGuire second rookie. Some people consider the 85 his real rookie. Um, he wasn't in a uniform. So to me, it's not really a rookie, rookie card, a true rookie card. His true rookie card was 87. 
um, the Bo Jackson, the Palmero, the Barry Larkin, a uh, bunch of other great players, some that made it really big, some that didn't make it as big as they were supposed to, uh, thinking like uh, John Kruk, for one. Um, but outside of that, there's other players as well. Now, this is, again, junk wax era, so centering wasn't all that good. And, you know, not everybody took perfect care of their cards, that's for sure. So if I'm not mistaken, okay, first of all, just looking at the cost of grading, okay, I would say that there's about a hundred cards in this set that if you do have a PSA 10, okay, something that does end up grading out of a PSA 10, it would be worth getting, it would be worth having been graded. Uh, if you look at the cost of grading, uh, I'll show the PSA special price going on right now, but even the $30 price, uh, there is more than, more than a hundred cards, uh, I don't know the exact count there, but some definite surprising names um, that are worth or valued or have sold recently for over 30 bucks. Uh, I mean, who would have, who would ever imagine that somebody like Von Hayes would have sold for $61? Uh, Tim Flannery, 56. And I'm not looking right now at the PSA website. As I'm doing this video. So I will be going through these cards afterwards. Uh, again, just to see if there's things that either I missed or maybe something that's worth submitting. And there usually is uh, a card or two that might be worth submitting. I'm getting ready to do a pretty big submission. Uh, I may end up splitting it. Now that's a card I'm going to wall of fame. That's Daryl Strawberry there. I like that card. Always respect it. Always like Strawberry. He's got a great story. Even the, so, you know, even the checklist checklist the first checklist one through 132 uh so for a hundred bucks uh last sale was in the 150 dollar range so definitely worth looking at getting graded and uh, as i was saying i'm doing a split grading part of going out to uh psa others are going out to sgc really depending on how quickly i want to get anything back because anything that's for pc I'll, i may end up doing psa um Anything that's for resale, I may end up doing SGC. Just uh, I prefer three weeks over six, over four to five to six months. All right, we got Mickey Hatcher there. Keith Hernandez, great player, not a Hall of Famer, of course. Scott Bankhead, Jeff Laddie, Pat Sheridan, Carney Lansford, John Henry Johnson, Tony Armas, and that's the third checklist. Got Ken Howell, Tim Par Tim Piznarski, Bill Dolly, Mark Portugal, Roger Clemens All Star card. I like that card there. Maybe someday he'll be Hall of Fame. Who knows exactly which way they're going to go with all of that? Rick Honeycutt, Terry Francona, Steve Lyons, Bill Dolly, Fernando Valenzuela. Orioles leaders there, Frank Tanana Banana, Barry Larkin. That's one of the rookie cards that we'd be looking for in this. Frapper that one up. Tim Acker, Steve Lyons, Cal Ripken. Nice Cal Ripken card there. Off center is, I mentioned, now if we look at the Barry Larkin, also a bit off center there, although not as bad as the Ripken. Urbano Lugo, John Stiferro, Bernie Camacho, and Gary Gaetti. Pretty cool to find a Herbeck and a Gaetti in the same pack. So let's eat these frappered. Pretty good pack there. Get the Ripken up front and center right next to the Barry Larkin. It was Barry Larkin rookie there. Now, outside of grading, uh, again, condition dependent. Some of these can definitely end up in team packs that I have in my eBay store. Y'all can check it out. I have the link down below. Uh, if not team packs, what I also call Hall of Fame packs, which are 100% stocked with Hall of Famers in mixed years. Uh, and when I say Hall of Famers, I mean Hall of Famers that were Hall of Famers during their playing career, not prospective Hall of Famers. So, unfortunately... 
Uh, there's no Roger Clemens or Barry Bonds or even Don Mattingly in there. Uh, Don Mattingly, and I mentioned, because uh, I know that he's part of the uh, the pre-veterans committee of eight or whatever they call that right now. Uh, towards getting it to the Hall of Fame, we'll see if he gets the nod. Uh, he is another player that, in my mind, absolutely deserves it. Played play with some rough teams there. Uh, 1987 gum. And it just turned to powder. <laughs> Don't try that at home, kids. Yep, 35-year-old gum. I think I need a little bit of water to wash that down. Not even a crunch to it. All right, starting off the rookie is Pete and Cavillia. Yeah, I definitely need some water with this. <sighs> that wasn't even gum. That was dust. All right, we got Mark Davis, John Tudor, Dan Bellardello, Dave Palmer, Jose Rijo, John Russell, Tim Loudner, Hal McRae, Astros leaders there, Yogi Berra. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he's having a great time there. Joe Orsalak, Dave Collins, Ron Romanek, Bill Wegman, Milt Thompson, Jim Presley, T.R. Bryden, Tony Fernandez, Jim Gantner, Tim Slayton, Tony Gwynn, Wall of Fame that one up, Chris Bando, Vince Coleman, Damaso Garcia, Cal Daniels, Carmelo Martinez, Fernando Valenzuela again. All right, and the Orioles leaders again, and Tanana Banana one more time, and another Barry Larkin rookie. Now looking at this one and the other one, yeah, the other one's actually a bit better, better centered than this one. Got Jim Acker, Dan Schatzitter, the Dodgers leaders, okay. Another Ripken. Another Urbano Lugo, John Stefaro, Camacho, Gary Gaetti, Kevin Mitchell, great player for a few years there. Schatzitter again, Dodgers leaders again. Got some duplicates going on here. Rick Leach. He's another player. Dave Parker should be Hall of Fame. Manny Lee, Bobby Witt, Kevin Mitchell again, Roy Lee Jackson, some really bad collation here. Geralt, Floyd Bannister, and Will the Thrill Clark rookie. Nice card there. So definitely got some great ones out of that. Really good first jumbo pack, but... The duplicates in there, I mean, you, you like getting the duplicates of the players that are great, but uh, getting multiple Urbano Lugos, I don't know. That's not the best thing. Maybe to somebody in his family it would be great, uh, but as best as I know, he's not a family member, not even distant. So can't help you there, bud. And as I was saying, some of these uh, will go into, if not grading, they may go into Hall of Fame packs. And some of them I actually put into the regular team packs. Uh, I also have my eBay store um, where I have 100, 150 cards. Uh, I forget exactly what it is that I have there. And I do change it back and forth from time to time. Uh, sometimes it might be 100 plus cards. Other times it might be 150 plus cards. Uh, depending on how much, I guess, extra volume I have uh, at any particular point in time, how many extra cards I have, because they do sell, um, because I don't hold back. Uh, if you pick uh, the Cincinnati Reds, for example, as your team, you might find a Barry Larkin, you might find a Pete Rose, you might find a Joe Morgan. Uh, I've definitely put some uh, Ripkins in the Orioles, as well as other great Orioles in there. Jim Palmer, I know I put in a couple of them. So not exactly like a whole back, and the, the cards are mostly packed fresh. Uh, and I say mostly because there are collections that I'll buy up where things are not exactly packed fresh, especially the, the mid to late 70s or the early 80s. They might not be sharp as corners or anything like that. So, okay, we got John Tudor. 
Dan Bilardello, Dave Palmer, Jose Rijo. I think I've read some of these names before and these in the pack right before this. Ron Reynolds, Tim Loudner, Glenn Davis, Pedro Guerrero, Benny Stefano, Mark Clear, Rick Burleson, Rupert Jones, Donnie Baylor. Great card there. Orlando Mercado, Walt Terrell, Pagliarillo, Wade Rowden, Eric Plunk, El Cid, Mariners leaders there, Chris Brown, Brian Oaklers, Jim Morrison, Mookie Wilson, Jamie Quirk, Brewers leaders. All right, let's get those over into a stack. Tim Flannery, Bill Schurer, Tom Foley, Rafael Palmer, rookie there. Now that would have been a great one to find back then also. Max Venerable, Venable, BJ Surhoff, supposed to be a great catcher, didn't exactly pan out that way. Tippy Martinez, Ray Fontenot, Mark McGuire. As I was saying, his, in my mind, his real rookie. And yeah, we could we could talk back and forth if it if it is his real rookie or if the '85 was, but this is the first one of him in the A's uniform in a major league professional baseball uniform. All right, we got Daryl Strawberry. There's also an, an error or variation on some of these where the copyright or the trademark is missing from where the National League and American League markings are. I'll take that to a scope. I don't. Yeah, there goes the TM right there. So that one has a trademark. Yeah, it's worth a couple bucks more, but uh, not all that much in the grand scheme of things. Uh, with the exception of, I believe, the Mattingly, which has the most interest. All right. Now that's the Pirates Leaders card. Now, for some reason, and got to wonder why, don't know exactly, but that is the second highest valued card in the set. Not exactly sure why, but... Uh, this one looks not bad. Centering top to bottom is a little bit weird. But I'm going to keep that one on the side so I can take a better look at it later. Got Dennis Lamp, Jackie Gutierrez, Sandberg, Hall of Fame card there. Kent Colvey with his sidearm, underarm, uh, submarine delivery style that he had. Wonder how he'd play nowadays. Mike Trujillo as the last one of that. So I'm going to get that Sandberg frappered up. Absolutely get the McGuire wrappered. And this one I'm going to put up on the top of the boxes over here. Just so I can take it to the measuring tool that I like to use. Take a look at the corners in a bit also. Because that one right there, you know what? If, it, if that is a 10. And again, who knows, but it's 150 bucks in a PSA 10 condition. So that one right there would definitely be worth, if it's a 10, dishing off. Uh throwing it up on eBay after it's graded and gotten back, or gotten back and graded and all of that. All right, and we're at the second part of the second of these Topps Jumbo 1987s. Billy Joe Rubidoux, Jim Pankovitz, Mike Young, Rob Deere, Doug DeSensei, Reggie Williams, Burt Bly Levin again, Jay Tibbs, Joe Hesketh, Argina Salazar, Bruce Bochy, Mark Sullivan, Neil Allen, Ruben Sierra, rookie, Joe Price, Terry Harper, Mike Kingery, Billy Hatcher, Rance Mullenix, Jamie Kockenauer, great name, Pat Clements, and Greg Walker. Continuing on, Ron Romanick, Bill Wegman again, Kirby Puckett, Hall of Fame card there. I'll wrap her that one up. Don Carmen, Craig Reynolds, 
Todd Worrell, Ron Kittle, Tom Nieto, the Rangers leaders. Dave Concepcion, part of the big red machine there. Rod Scurry, Ozzie Smith. Now, one of the other things that I did mention uh, in the eBay store, I have these Hall of Fame packs, and I frapper each card individually in those. Uh, they are 100% Hall of Famers, uh, not players that are people that got named to the Hall of Fame because they coached afterwards and they became a Hall of Fame manager or a Hall of Fame coach or anything like that. No, they got elected, nominated either by the regular committee, by the veterans committee, by somehow, but for their playing, for their game. Got Ron Kittle, Tom Nieto, Rangers leaders again, Concepcion again, Terry Kennedy again, Jeff Calhoun, Garth Yorg, Juan Nieves, Craig McMurdy, and Gary Reedus. See, I like I like the Hall of Fame packs because they are actual Hall of Famers, not maybe some days or anything like that. So, unfortunately, no Matting Lee's it can go in there yet. Uh, but we'll see sometime, maybe in the near future. No Dave Parkers. Uh, should be. No Dale Murphy's. All right, we got Kirby Puckett there to wrap this up. I'm going to keep those on the side there. Anyway, this has been a fun one. I think we got a couple of the great cards in here. Uh, pulling the Barry Larkin rookies. That That's absolutely great. Uh, the McGuire, real happy about that. And I uh, definitely got to take a look-see a bit later on this Pirates Leaders card. Not exactly sure why that would be, but it is what it is. Uh, you know what? If it does come back as a PSA 10 and I can flip it out for a buck 50, uh, that buys a whole lot more 1987 Tops cards, that's for sure. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Definitely appreciate you stopping by the channel. Take a look see at the other videos uh, that I have. Uh, baseball card, football card, basketball card, hockey card, soccer card even, garbage pail kids cards, all sorts of stuff. And pop by the eBay shop. Uh, not only baseball cards in there, but a whole lot more as well. Anyway, y'all take care. Stay well. Stay blessed. God bless always. Bunkle out.